why fear is bondage. Move forward. We have to be content. We have to be content. Not be satisfied with average. Mediocre. Be satisfied with him just a little. Nothing is new but him. Every gift comes from God alone. God is a giver. Each, last, and every one of us today. We have a gift. We have a plan. Why are some of us not using our gifts? Why are some of us not using and going in our plan? Some of us have been to college and we might even use our gifts. Some of us, some of us have studied certain things. God has gave us intuition about different things. Each one of us has a gift, but we're not even using it. Naturally or spiritually, we're not even using it on our job. We're not even using it in the church. We just sit there. Let life pass by. Let life pass by. If my wife happy, that's fine. If my husband happy, that's fine with you. As long as they happy. But what about your gift? What about your, your gift? He's giving you. Now of us are mistakes. We are made mistakes, but we're not a mistake. Hallelujah. to trap us and make us fall oh, is a stepping stone. Every test is a testimony. I'm not doing it because I'm angry. I'm not doing it because I'm bitter. I'm not doing it because he hurt me. She hurt me. I've been betrayed. I'm bitter. I'm angry. I'm dissatisfied. But what about me? What are you going to do? What, you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm reminded of Jeremiah. God asked Jeremiah to go speak when he was a child. And he thought he was too young. And he said, me Lord, I, and God said, you, you speak for me, even being a child. You're not too young. He can use anybody. From a babe's time. Anybody. And Jeremiah spoke. And he told him he will ordain him. From the belly. From the womb. From birth. He was ordained already. He already know us by name. He already know who we are. He know girl, boy. He already know our gender. God is a gift maker. Whatever God's doing, he'll finish. Stop trying to figure it out. Like the grandma would say, it's already worked out. He starts at the end, when you at the beginning. And I want you to go ahead and go to Jeremiah so you can understand what I'm saying. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Through 8. Before I was formed, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou came forth out of the womb, I satisfied thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Then said I, 
Oh Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto thee, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that shall see thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of thy faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. I look back over things. Why are people so careful? Why are we not doing what God asks us to do, or called us to do, spiritually and naturally? Some of us are stuck because of fear. Like I said, fear is bondage, and we need to move forward. We have gotten content with our mediocre, average lifestyle. We satisfied with just doing just a little and not moving forward. Just selling. God created us in His image. We are not losers or nor mistakes. Like I said once again, we might not make we might make mistakes, but we are not mistakes. We are elected and we chosen. We are adopted into the great royal family. We have gifts from above, God Himself. We was created from the womb to be blessed. What God starts, He'll finish. Jeremiah was scared because he was a child. But God, God knew in the belly and the womb what He was going to be. He was going to speak. He had his, he had an intense experience of being scared and fearful to speak the word of God to elders. Sometimes that's what the you say to me. Or sometimes that's what I say. I don't know what they know. I'm gonna get in front of them. They know more than me. But God can use anybody. He will help you and he will be your refuge. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sight of mind. Sometimes we hold back because of disappointment, rejection, pain, hurt, jealousy, brokenness, low self esteem. Because for a man, I can't give him up. A woman. It is strongholds. You know what's the most stronghold? You think it's blocking you from doing something. That's a stronghold. Experiences. Often fear comes when some things blow our mind or blow us away. You had no control over it. Sometimes it's a storm. Sometimes it flattens you on your back. Yeah. You can't think. Yeah. You can't sleep. You can't eat. Yeah. Sometimes you get sick. Yeah. But God, but God, <laughs> thank you, Nero. She always got my back. But God, yeah. you have to have faith and believe what you can't see. Oh my God, sometimes I feel like throwing in the towel. Some people don't even want to live. They just want to give up. This ain't working no more. Some people get devastated. I've been waiting too long. They say I'm going to get a husband. They say I'm going to get this job. I'm going to get this business. This plan is coming. I believe it, believe, baby. It's coming, it's coming. And, it's coming. and you, 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 you just seem like you're just waiting a long time. Clock seem like it's ticking. You cry, you cry, and you cry. I'm hurt. I've been raped. Nobody want to talk about it. They swept it under the rug. Yeah. Sometimes it's death that hurts me. What am I going to do after this? Sometimes it's divorce. Why am I getting divorced? Yeah. I've been betrayed. I've been broken. Yeah. Low self esteem. Pain too heavy. Yeah. I've been abused. Amen. Hey, yeah. yeah. All this makes us stuck. Not wanting to move on. We stay with 
with people forever because we're afraid to move on. Enjoying everybody else's gift. But I um, Lord, as you Lord, I'm just happy. I'm just happy because they happy. Lord, have mercy. that we have done. Each one of us has a gift that God has given us. Some of us is sitting on it and we know exactly what it is. And we're so unhappy because we just feel somebody ought to be pushing us or somebody ought to tell us what to do or, uh, or somebody, somebody, you know, just, just sitting there, just sitting there and weeks and days and years start passing by and we get older. And you sit there and you still haven't done what you're supposed to do. Naturally or spiritually. But I'm tired of being like this. I'm so happy. I know it's something missing. I know it's something missing. It's something I need to be doing. She's happy. I'm happy. My children do what they want to do. They are ripping and running. And everybody's happy. But what about me? What about me? Lord, my peace. It's missing. It's a piece of something. It's a piece of me that's missing. God, what, what, what is this? I'm looking for something. I've studied every religion. I've did everything. I've read every book. And I still haven't moved forward. What's going on? I'm just, I'm just stuck. What's wrong? Lord, help me, Jesus. Sometimes that's why we take them so hard. We all take them hard when it's somebody close to us. But sometimes we take them hard because we had no life. We was living our life for this person. So, and running and going and doing. And our lifestyle was theirs. And we didn't even have our, our own identity, our own bloodline. What's missing, God? What's my missing piece? Everybody had a piece. Do everybody have a little piece of puzzle? I know you look at it. What in the world is this? Can you hold up your piece? I want you today to figure out what is missing. And some of us I already know what's missing. Some of, some of us I already know what we're not doing. Some of us sitting on it right now. Right now. We wrote it down and made it plain sometime when we was a child. And then we thought that was a foolish thought. Some children have no fear. They have great big ideas, great hopes. Big, it becomes destroyed when you get a certain age and people start destroying that dream of that girl. But what piece is missing from you? Well, you just everybody. You can sit here and say you don't have no this, but everybody has something they didn't do. Everybody have a piece that they're not doing. If it's money, that's no problem. Because if you serve God, He holds everything. He has future, still a goal. Trust Him. I was looking at this um, um, little series, and it, was, uh, it had three children. And they said three puzzles in front of all three children. And they took a missing piece out of all three of those puzzles. And the first child had a temper tantrum. Got mad, started kicking and throwing because he wanted that piece of puzzle that was missing. Then the other child got frustrated. He just started crying and I'm just frustrated and I'm just frustrated and I'm frustrated. And then the third child said, I'm going to find this puzzle. I'm glad he started looking up on the desk and the table and all that kind of stuff. He had hope. He knew that he was going to find that puzzle. He might not see it then, but he had the faith to believe that he was going to find that piece of puzzle. He knew that missing piece was going to be replaced. He was going to be able to get in that puzzle. And so that's why I'm saying, what is your missing piece? What is, when is you going to put that piece back in that puzzle? It ain't for nobody else to tell you what your peace is. God already told you what your gift is. You already know what your gift is. I'm just going to sit here 
here and there with mama and dad, and I'm just going to, I'm going to be satisfied, and I'm just going to stay here, and I'm just going to stay here, and I'm going to eat, and I can, like my mother said, the heat in the air, and suck up all that, and not pay nobody, and I'm going to give you a little job to grow up and still live up there. I ain't giving nobody nothing. I got a shop to I drop. I got to do all this, but when are you going to fit in that missing piece? So missing. And you're not going to be happy to fulfill that peace. Be delivered. Be set free. When God starts, he'll finish. He already knew about you before you was even born. He already knew. So have the faith. Step out on faith. If you have to leap for it, leap for it. Don't discourage anymore. The worst is over. You have to step out on faith. Don't worry about being scared. Don't worry about being embarrassed. Don't worry about being inadequate. Don't worry about having panic attacks. I was telling my little one day, I can say it now and tell you a lie when you hear this again. I was telling my little when I first started singing, you know, people said, well, you've been singing all your life and all this kind of stuff. You, you ought to be comfortable. You ought to you know about your little boldness and the strongness and all that. But I'll be honest, I will be I'll be so sick. I sort of sweat. I had to use restroom. Had these panic attacks, worried about people what they gonna say, haters, or just all that kind of stuff. But I can say right now, I can stand flat footed, bold. When you know who he is, when he brought you through some things, when you know that you don't even have to worry about your faces anymore. Miracle worker. 